Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this video, I'm gonna show you two different ways to add falling snowflakes to your Elementor website. I'm gonna break this video out into two different sections. The very first section is I'm gonna show you how to add the snowflakes that look like this to your Elementor website. And then I'm gonna show you how to add snowflakes like this where there are little balls going down the screen. The good news is you can use the free version of Elementor to pull this off. To pull these effects off, I found two really good generators online that give you the ability to easily customize the look and feel of these snowflakes. So in this first example, we're gonna be using this one from GitHub. And as you can see right here, they have a settings section over here. So whatever settings you change here, it's gonna kick out this code on the bottom. And then we just need to paste that into your Elementor website. So I'm just gonna quickly go through these settings and then I'm gonna show you how to add this code to your website. So the first section is, you can see right here, you got full screen or layer. And in this case, I wanna just stick to full screen where the snowflakes are going down the whole website. Um, if you did wanna do layer, you can do that. And you can see right down here where my cursor is, uh, right here it says snowflakes container. You could just have whatever layer or section you have and have it just target that area. But let's go ahead and go back to full screen. I wanna have the background as white. Um, they give you the option to change the color of the snowflakes right here. So this blue is good. Um, the count is, of course, how many snowflakes you want coming down the screen. So if we go to a larger number, like 300, you're going to see it's a lot more dense. And then they give you the option to change the opacity, the minimum and maximum. Uh, 0.6 and 1, that seems to be good right here. And then the, you can change the minimum size and maximum size. So if you want some bigger snowflakes up in there, you can just type in something like 50 and you're gonna to start to notice some of them are a little bit larger. So like that might be a 50, this is probably the 10. So it gives you a good mixture. And then if you don't want them to rotate where they just come straight down, you can do that. So this is a really good tool because they give you a lot of options for being a free tool. And you can see right here, you can make it very fast if you want. That might be a little too distracting, but let's do one. You can turn the wind on and off so they kind of zigzag around. Once you change all your settings right here, it's very easy to just copy this code into your Elementor website. So you just go down here, click this button right here where it says copy. Now that we have the code in our clipboard, all we need to do is paste it inside a HTML widget and we'll be good to go. So what I recommend is going toward the bottom of your page and adding an HTML widget. So you would just go over here, type in HTML, and what I recommend is adding this HTML widget at the very bottom of the list. And as you can see right here, it's in the very bottom section at the very bottom. The reason why you wanna put this code toward the bottom is because it's really just eye candy, so it's best to load up all of your content as fast as possible. And then at the very bottom, just let it load up this JavaScript because if you load up in the beginning of your page, it could slow down your website. So let's go ahead and just add it to the bottom. Now we can just paste in that code right here. And what we need to do is remove this very first line uh, because they have these opening body tags. So let's go ahead and just hit delete on that. And you can see that automatically that the snowflakes are gonna come in. And you can see that the code itself is very lightweight. So if you ever need to go ahead and change, they say that count, that's a bit much. So let's go back to 100. You can just add it to 100. And let's go ahead, hit update, and let's see if this works on the front end of the website. And yeah, it looks like it's working perfectly on the front end of the website. And if you're on the back end of the website and you see the snowflakes keep reloading over and over, all you need to do is hit refresh and then it will blow out that um, cache version of the JavaScript because it would just kind of keep reloading. So the very first time you add it, you need to make sure that you go ahead and just hit refresh on the back end because it's gonna really slow down everything. So you can see right here, the code is still in here and it's at the HTML uh, widget right here. So you can change this back to 200 and then we can do Automatically, it's gonna add it right here. We'll do another test, hit update, and hit refresh. And you can see that it adds the 200. Like I said, it's just gonna keep reloading, so let's go ahead and just hit refresh right here, and it won't load that animation over and over and over. And the good thing is, is if you do need to go ahead and make more edits here, um, let's say you wanna change the opacity to something like 0.2, you can see right here, it's got the min opacity. So some of these values will automatically, uh, you need to go ahead and just copy this code completely or just this one little line and add it to your website. And another little bonus is, let's say you wanna have these animations go behind something. What we need to do is increase the Z index to a really large number so we can make it go behind it. Let's say we wanna have it go behind this laptop. By default, 
that JavaScript code that's generating this uh, snowflake effect has a very large Z index. So all we need to do is just increase the Z index of the image you want uh, in front of it at a much larger number. So let's go ahead, click image, go under advanced, and just keep adding nine, 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 until you can see right here. You need to have it where the value is above whatever's in that JavaScript. So now this Z index is gonna be above your snowflakes. I went ahead, hit update, let's hit refresh on the page, and let's make sure that when you scroll down and these snowflakes will go behind the monitor. Yeah, that works out perfectly. In the second example, you can see right here, it's a very similar effect. Uh, so instead of the snowflakes, they're just these little snowballs coming down the screen. It's a pretty similar process, but it's not a generator. It's more of just pulling in all of those values into JavaScript, and you can manipulate it right on the back end. So I'm going to show you how to do this right here from this tutorial. So the very first thing we need to do is create a div called snow. So let's go ahead and do that. And just like the first example, we need to add this HTML widget toward the bottom of the page so it loads up much better. So in this situation, I'm going to add it below this call to action center right here. And we just need to type in uh, this div ID equals snow. And then the next thing we need to do is add this uh, custom snow CSS code to the website. And like I said, I'll be using Elementor Pro to pull this off. I just went to the page settings and under custom CSS, I just paste in this uh, snow CSS. If you're using a free version of Elementor, you can add this into your customizer or wherever you have your custom CSS, you can just add it there. And then the next step is all we need to do is go down here and copy and paste all of this JavaScript code they have right here. And it's kind of like the very first one, whereas instead of they have that generator on the front end of the website, you can just change all the values right within the code. So what we need to do is go back into that HTML widget we just created and just type in the word script with the brackets. And you can see when you do that, there's an opening and closing for the script, which is meaning JavaScript. You just paste it in there. That's all you have to do. And we can just hit update and let's see how it looks on the front end of the website. And here we are on the front end of the website. And as you can see, it's got by default the generic white snowflakes. Now, depending on your layout, you can see white isn't the best option for this uh, effect because you can't really see it. So we can easily go into Google, wherever you need to get a different hex color. You can just go to Google, type in hex color picker, and I already had this one right here, this light blue. So you can just go ahead, change whatever color you think the snowflake uh, would be enough contrast between your design. And underneath that JavaScript code we just added, you can see right here, color value equals FFF. That means white. Let's go ahead and just paste in the value that we just took from here. Hit update, and now the snowflake should be a little blue. There you go. And what's nice is this code that they have in here, it's pretty easy to understand. Just like the first one, you can change how many snowflakes you want. So by default, this one has 200. You can change um, different things like the value area, color, opacity, the size. Um, Let's go ahead and increase the size a little bit. Let's go to 15. You can change the speed, the direction. There's some, you can just have fun with it. You know, you don't have to just stick with the default. You can just play around with these values and whatever looks good, just kind of go with that. So let's go ahead. I changed the size of them so they should be a lot bigger. That's a bit much. So we can go down here. Let's change that value to 50 and instead of 15, maybe like a 12. Let's hit update, and let's see if those are still too big. They're a little big, so we can always kind of go back to what it was. Um, we can maybe do it a little bit bigger, like a six. And let's change the opacity to be a little bit more, because it's a little distracting, so 0.5. So that means that the snowflakes would be a little more transparent, so it's not so distracting. So you, like I said, it's depending on your layout. Um, you may want to increase the color on this, or maybe the opacity is a little bit too light now, but you can kind of just play around with these settings. And in this one, you do need to go ahead, hit update every time you need to do it because it's not rendering this code in real time. And that's it for this Elementor tutorial. I hope that this was helpful for adding snowflakes to your website. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new Elementor tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wikidesign.